good morning all today we are moving to dispatch in deregulated power markets to study this we have to know what is meant by marginal cost and marginal price to study the concept of marginal costing we will go through this example it says that a generation company estimates that its variable cost for generating electricity is given by the following equation c of p which is the cost of generation in terms of power p c of p equals 25 p squared plus 2000 p in dollars per hour where c of p is the total cost and p is the megawatts produced now you are asked to find you are asked to derive an expression for the marginal cost of production in the first part of the question so let's see how to find it the fuel cost is given in terms of dollars per hour as 25 p squared plus 2000 p so what's the marginal cost so for the next increment for the next increment what's the price what's the cost of generation that we have to find so do c of p by do p in the sense taking the derivative of cost with respect to change in p which gives 50 into p plus 2000 now the unit is dollars per megawatt hour that means this is energy cost this is the marginal cost okay now for 1 megawatt hour if you want to find the cost for 1 megawatt hour if you multiply this term 50p plus 2000 dollars per megawatt hour into 1 megawatt hour again uh, you will get the um, the the cost in terms of dollars because dollars per megawatt hour into megawatt hour so when you substitute 1 megawatt hour here you will get 50 plus 2000 which is 2050 dollars now in the second part of the question derive expressions for revenue and profit when the electricity is sold at marginal cost that means the generated electricity by this company is sold to buyers at marginal cost so you need to find the revenue and profit so to find the revenue whatever is the power that is sold this is p and that is sold at marginal cost it is given so marginal cost into p will be the revenue and we know that for uh, the, the marginal cost is 50 p plus 2000 dollars per megawatt hour if you multiply this with the power sold that is this if you multiply this with uh, megawatt you will get uh, the revenue in dollars per hour now to find that marginal cost into p will be 50 p plus 2000 into p okay so that will be in dollars per hour now 50 p squared plus 2000 p dollars per hour now to find the profit you need to take revenue minus expense revenue you have already got as 50 p squared plus 2000 p dollars per hour now the cost is marginal cost of generation because this is dollars per hour right the revenue the which you have found here is in dollars per hour now generation cost is the expense generation cost in dollars per hour is given initially in the question as 25 p squared plus 2000 p dollars per hour so this is the expense so revenue minus expense will give you 50 p squared plus 2000 p minus 25 p squared plus 2000 p which gives you 25 p squared dollars per hour so this is the expression for profit so whatever is the power that is uh, Uh, generated and sold uh, by the generation company in megawatts you can just substitute it here in place of uh, p in the expression 25 p squared then you will get the profit in dollars per hour so uh, that's what is the solution for the first question now okay we will move on to the second question In the second question it says that the input output curve of a gas fired generating unit is approximated by the following function 
h of p equals 120 plus 9.3 p plus 0.0025 p squared megajoules per hour the unit has a minimum stable generation of 200 megawatts and a maximum output of 500 megawatts the cost of gas is 1.2 dollars per megajoules over a 6 hour period the output for this unit is sold in a market for electrical energy at the prices shown in the table below that means system marginal price at system marginal price it is sold at each hour so in the first hour it is 12.5 dollars per megawatt hour in the second hour it is 10 dollars per megawatt hour etc up to 6 uh, hour 6 it is given okay now um, you are asked to derive in the first part of the question you are asked to derive a generator fuel cost function f of b in dollars per hour from h of p and cost of gas so h of p is given in megajoules per hour and cost of gas is given in dollars per megajoules so if you multiply cost of gas with h of p you will get um megajoules will be cancelled you will get dollars per hour okay so it will be the fuel cost now um so initially you are asked to derive the generator fuel cost function from h of p and cost of gas so directly you can find it by multiplying h of p with the fuel fuel cost the cost of gas now uh, h of p is given as 120 plus 9.3 p plus 0.0025 p squared let me check once again 120 plus 9.3 plus 9.3 p plus 0.0025 p squared megajoules per hour now the minimum generation is 200 maximum generation is 500 so the inequality constraint of the generation or the generation limit is already given now the cost of gas is 1.2 dollars per megajoules now if you want to find the fuel cost h of p into cost of gas that is megajoules per hour into dollars per megajoules equals dollars per hour so this expression h of p into 1.2 that will give you 144 plus 11.16 p plus 3 into 10 raised to minus 3 p squared. Now, in the second part of the question, you are asked to derive the generator incremental cost or marginal cost function IC of p. So, the same way um, in which we found the marginal cost in the first question. Uh, we have to go for derivative of the fuel cost function because the fuel cost function is in dollars per hour so if you take the derivative you will get energy cost dollars per megawatt hour from f of p f of p we have already found f of p is 144 plus 11.16 p plus 3 into 10 raised to minus 3 p squared so incremental cost is dou f by dou p derivative of fuel cost with respect to power which is equal to 11.16 plus 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 into p okay now um, in the third part of the question you are asked to calculate the megawatt production in each hour assuming that this unit is optimally dispatched online or the generator incremental cost equals the system marginal price so basically if the generator incremental cost is equal to the system marginal price um, then we say that the system is optimally dispatched the generator multiple generators are optimally dispatched or um, uh, in in other words we can say that for the next increment in uh, power in the, for the system um, the cost is if the cost is same for all the generators at that point we are uh, we say that the system is optimally dispatched that means for the next increment in load and if this increment in load is shared by three generators say three generators then um, the cost of feeding this increment in load from generator one equals cost of uh, the equals this um, cost of feeding the incremental load uh, from generator two which is equal to the cost of generator 3 for the same incremental load. Uh, so in that case, we say that the three generators are optimally dispatched. Now, uh, to take that condition, to consider that condition, um, 
what we are doing here is okay do f by do p is the incremental cost incremental cost equals marginal cost right so marginal price is given in the table in, in each our marginal price system marginal price is 12.5 so if when system marginal price equal to marginal cost of the generator then it is optimally dispatched so in that case we take here do f by do p equals 12.5 but what was do, do f by do p do f by do p is incremental cost incremental cost equals 11.16 plus 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 p right so this do f by do p is 12.5 so from this p is the only unknown p you can find so for the first hour we um, denote p as uh, p1 for the second hour we denote it as p2 so for the first hour do f by do p is 12.5 for the second hour do f by do p is 10 so from uh, 12.5 you can find p1 for from 10 you can find p2 um, so basically 12.5 equals 11.16 plus 6 into 10 ratio minus 3 p for the first hour p1 for the first hour so p1 equals 12.5 minus 11.16 divided by 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 that will give you 223.33 megawatts similarly you can find for all the hours all the six hours so uh, for all hours, uh, we have uh, found the powers, and uh, uh, now you are in the fourth part of the question. You are asked to find the generator revenue and the cost for each hour. How will you find the generator revenue and cost? Because if you have the generation cost with you, and uh, if you have the revenue, then revenue minus expense you can take, and you can find the profit. In the, in the fifth part, you are asked to find the accumulated operational profit or loss. Now, going to the fourth part, revenue is in dollars per hour, right? So, what you have obtained here is these things 12.5, 10, 13, 13.5, 15. At this price only, you are selling the power in each hour. At these prices, you are selling the uh, power so uh, this is basically dollars per megawatt hour right so the amount of power sold in each hour is obtained as p1 p2 p3 etc so if you multiply this do f by do p with the corresponding power sold at that hour you will get the revenue in dollars per hour right because dollars per megawatt hour into megawatt that will give you dollars per hour that is the revenue so uh, now it's easy to find because this marginal price is given 12.5 into p1 will give you the revenue at that hour mm. 10 into p2 will give you the revenue at the second hour now 13 into p3 will give you the revenue for third hour similarly you can find 13 into p3 13.5 into p4 15 p5 and 11 p6 now this is revenue now what is the expense of the company the expense of the company is cost of generation cost of generation in the sense to generate p1 to generate p2 to generate p3 in the third hour to generate p4 in the fourth hour uh, similarly we can find for all the six hours the generation cost now if you take the difference between revenue and expense in each hour you will get the profit how to find the generation cost cost in dollars per hour would be given this is the cost in dollars per hour in 2.1 f of p equals 144 plus 11.16 p plus 3 into 10 raised to 3 p squared this is in dollars per hour this is the um, cost of generation so you can substitute here p1 p2 in the f of p in f of p you can uh, substitute p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 and p6 so that you will get the expense that is what we have done here mm -hmm. and uh, f of p1 f of p2 f of p3 f of p4 f of p5 and f of p6 now um, you are asked to find the accumulated profit that means revenue minus expense in each hour is the profit right so profit 1 plus profit 2 plus etc plus profit 6 for all the six hours you have to find the profit and add it add them okay so in that case the, you can check the final answer after simplification whether you are getting 690.063 dollars so this is the 
the concept of marginal pricing and uh, marginal cost in detail we'll discuss this in the next lecture thank you